Hello guys, it's Susan from Susan's Nursery and welcome back to my channel. So our video is going to be a details video of my new baby. I haven't named her yet, but we're going to look at her details and then we're going to put the phone on the tripod and dress her. And one of her new outfits that came today. So, we'll look at her little details. We're going to start with her little foot. Look at that little foot. Isn't it beautiful? It's got some white tipping on it. And it's got some um, red on the bottom of the toes. And right here... On the bottom of the little toes and around the ankles and some around the knee and there is a vein and then uh, she has a little wrinkle there under her um, or like at her thigh and then um, the other foot let's look at the bottom isn't that beautiful guys and then her little her little toes they are um tipped and there is that red around her little ankle and then she has a big vein going up her leg i don't know how well you guys can see that and then there's another vein there and her knee has some blushing on it as well and then um we'll start with her hands look how beautiful those hands are look at those fingers aren't they just beautiful and they have some redness to them and the nails are tipped and um the wrist has a little red to it and the bent and the elbow and the back of the elbow and there's a vein coming from um the vinyl arm that meets the cloth right there the the vein comes from there almost down to the elbow and then the other side how beautiful she is She's got her beautiful little um, tipped fingernails. And she's got redness on her little fingers. And let's look in the inside of her hand. It's very beautiful. And then she has a big vein going from her um, elbow almost to her hand. And um, her little... Um, wrist is blushed and she has a vein uh, on the same side or the same place she does on the other side right there if you can see and then her beautiful little um, elbow is blushed and then her beautiful little face she's got red eyelashes and red eyebrows and she's got beautiful little lips and an open little nose and there's her ears looking oh so cute and her neck and her cheeks are um, blushed a little bit and her forehead and there's her other ear and then her hair is like a, a strawberry blonde color it's very beautiful very soft so that's her details guys so if you'll hold on just a minute i will put the camera on the tripod so we can dress her so hold on just a minute guys okay guys we're back and we're going to change this sweet girl. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you her name reveal. So, 
I'm going to show you what we're going to put on her. We, I did get some of her outfits today from Amazon. And one of them was too big. And I was disappointed because I really liked it. But it's too big. It's like a six to nine months. I, I tell you guys, it's huge. And it was supposed to be um, a zero to three months. So, we're going to put on her this Jessica Simmons 0 to 3 months um, little romper. And it is a cream color background. And it has yellow and orange yellow. Um, lemons on it and it has like a medium dark green leaves and stems on it and that's all over the little romper and then there's some um, like some uh, blooms some flower blooms beside of it that are yellow outlined and then they have orange insides and then it has a little skirt to it. And then it's just the bottom of the romper. And that, it buttons up the top, up the back. And then it has a V. Starting from, uh, from the neck, it goes to a V. And then it has a little ruffle on the top of the neck as well. And then there's a little pair of pants that matches um, the pattern as well, uh, that is the same as the shirt, except it has a little pocket on one side and it has little ruffles on the bum. And then we're going to do this little bow on her. It has yellow and green and cream in the middle it's a flower we're going to put that on her and then we're going to give her her posse that she came home with with her with a like a hunter green i know it doesn't match the green exactly but we're going to give her a hunter green holder for her posse and then we're going to let her snuggle up with lammy um, he's a cream color. He's a cream colored lamb. And then, of course, um, I have the hair things that we might need for her. On my straight haired babies, I use Johnson's Clean and Fresh condi Conditioning Spray. Excuse me. And then I have her little toothbrush. That is her brush. So... That's what we're going to put on her. And for my discussion that we're going to have, or chat, we're going to have why change her. Um, I've been really upset about um, something today that I, I watched a video. I watched one of my friends' videos and they mentioned... Um, this person's um, video and in this person's video um, she is leaving YouTube because of all the replicas so, and she went on to say that, I'm going to put it on her like this so we won't have to go over her hair because it's already um, kind of sticking up from um, where she's laying on that blanket. And just save it a little bit to where we don't, you know, pull on it so much. Um, so... 
that really upset me because she was talking about how, you know, that basically, you know, it, you know, it was all about the replicas now and, um, that she supported the sculptors and the artists. And then there was a comment that upset me. Um, and I won't tell you what the comment said, but, um, it was more or less about the same thing. And, um, it just made me feel like that because I, col I have some replicas in my co collection. Um... And it made me feel like that that video and that comment because um, it was somebody that I knew um, and that comment made me feel like or the comment was from somebody another person that I watch um And consider a a friend um, and it just made me feel like since I have replicas in my collection that um, it made me feel like that they were saying, you know, and I might have interpreted it the wrong way, but it made me feel like they were saying that I don't, because I have replicas, that I don't support the sculptors and the artists. And, um, the doll community, which is not true because I have um, authentic reborns. I actually, I've had more authentic reborns the whole time that I've been collecting that I've had anything. So, what I listened to in the video and what I read on the comment really disturbed me. So, I went back and counted up how just how many authentic reborns that I've had since I began um, collecting. So, I added it up, guys, and um, including, that's including my, um, authentic reborns I have now I have had 42 authentic reborns that you know I don't have them all now because I um, was trying to discover my style of reborn and um, what my likes were and dislikes and get you know just getting comfortable with my collection and um that's why i had so many and that's why i had um um you know uh sold or yeah sold um the ones that you know did i wasn't really um, wasn't really my style. So, I've had 42 authentic reborns in my collection since I've been collecting. And I've also had 13 Paradise Galleries. Now, a lot of people don't consider them reborns. But, 
those dolls have sculpts. They are sculpts. And they do have artists. So, I have been supporting those sculpts and those artists. And um, I've had 10 Ashton Drake, including the one that I have now. And I have three Paradise Galleries now. And so, those dolls have um, sculptors. And they also have artists. So, I've been supporting those sculptures and those artists as well. So, um, and I've had two Kimby babies. So, I've been, I've supported, um, those sculpts, which are Bountiful Baby Sculpts. And, um, they're artists. So, I mean, saying those things, you don't really, um... Saying those things, you don't really realize how you hurt other people's feelings. Especially, um, everybody doesn't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, the camera turned over. So, um, like I was saying, um... I don't, I don't know that they realize that they're hurting people's feelings when they say those things, or maybe they don't care, but, um, my story, I don't know if everybody knows, because I have had quite a bit of new subscribers, my story is, I was, um, a preschool teacher. So, I worked, you know, um, 40 hours a week, maybe more, and, um, uh, up until October of 20, 2021 is when, um, I could not work anymore because I, um, developed um long covid and i um developed um some complications and different things from it so i could no longer work so i no longer had a income so we went from a two income family to a one income family so i couldn't support my hobby as well as i wanted to um so, that put me buying, um, cheaper dolls. So, that's why, um, I mean, not to say there's anything wrong with replicas. Um, actually, I love, um, the ones that I have. Um, I have about six of them. Um, and this is the truth of the matter. Not that there's anything wrong with my replicas that I have. Not that I would sell any of my replicas. Not that, um, anything like that. I'm just saying, if I had the money and I was still working, um, I would probably have bought authentic sculpts for what I have bought and replicas. But it's just uh, the matter of the fact that unless we get money like, you know, like a lump sum, um... Or, you know, whatever, if we save up and I buy a reborn or something of that nature, 
I get a authentic grieve warrant. If not, then I have to either get a um, Paradise Galleries baby, which I'm not very fun, fond of them. And not Paradise Galleries, Ashton Drake. The only one that I've kept of my Ashton Drakes is the big child size Louisa. So I I can get one of those, but those are not really that affordable for me. Um, the Paradise Galleries are a little bit more affordable, so I can get one of those every once in a while, and I can get the replicas. But um, I might have put the magnet in backwards because it fell out. Ooh, and it fell out again. Um, so, that's mostly the reason. Um, but, before, before I stopped working, I did purchase a lot. A lot of authentic reborns off of Macari, off of Facebook Marketplace, off of reborns.com, um, anywhere that I found the one actually that I liked and could afford. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I guess I took it the wrong way. I don't know. But it just really upset. I don't know why that ain't sitting on her mouth. Maybe I got it weighted down too much with that thing. No. Let me take it off of there. Or could this leave her without one? But, um... Yeah, everything that's going on in the Dolly community, um... Why can't... I don't understand. Why can't... People just collect what they want to collect and be left alone. I mean, because a lot of people can afford um, the authentic reborns. Like, I mean, I can every once in a while now. Um, but if I want one other than a replica it's usually you know payment plan or something of that matter and sometimes those are are not always available for reborns that you want so um I don't know it just upset me guys and um, I was just upset about it all afternoon I actually called my husband at work and talked to him talked to him about it because I was upset um, but I did look it up and seen how many that I had purchased and I was like purchasing them uh, a lot when I worked. Basically, if I had the money, if I had the money and, um, I liked the Reborn, I bought it when I worked. But now, like I said, I can't work because I have, I developed long COVID and I developed... Four 
um, one, two, mental disorders, and three, physical diseases from it. So, I can't work anymore. So, um, and I've been filing for disability, but you know, that takes forever. Or it does in Alabama. I don't know where else. Because Alabama is a denial to state. So, I do have my hearing next month in March. So, I'm hoping that I will get it then. So, I mean, but, I mean, I mean, it really makes, it really hurts people's feelings. Or it really hurt my feelings because the person that left the comment, I considered, you know, and still consider a friend. And, um, I just didn't know they had that type of view on things. Um, so, and it made me feel bad. It made me feel like that I wasn't a supporter of the sculpts or the, um, artist. And then that's not true. I mean, it's really not true because, um... I've spent a lot of money on authentic reborns and probably will still <laughs> spend whatever I can spend on reborns. <laughs> um, so, you know, that we have um, for me to spend on reborns. Um, we try to share it. He is, uh, my husband is a, um, he does the, uh, amateur radio. And he gets him some radios. So we try to share it. You know, it's 50-50. You know, um, I don't always have to have something. Um... He needs some stuff for his hobby too. So we try to share. Um, so that's just how we do it. And sometimes there's not enough money for a authentic reborn. And um, I do like the replicas. I like them very well. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop purchasing an authentic reborn and stop supporting the artist and the sculptors. Um, I mean, I just... It just upset me today, and I had to kind of calm down a little bit before I did this video because I was very upset, and I'm still pretty upset about it. Um, I just, I feel like I'm rambling now, but I was just, you know, wanting to say that, you know, I've had... 42 authentic reborns since I started and I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on those reborns and that hurt my feelings when I went to that channel and that person was talking about it. And then another person that I watched their videos and didn't even know they had that view on 
that type thing. Um, that hurt my feelings. So, that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, I just wanted to make it clear that um, I do support the artist and I do support the um, sculptors, but my channel is a all doll supporter channel. Um, I can't tell you and I'm not going to tell you what you can buy with your money. Huh? I don't have the right. Just like nobody has the right to tell me what I can buy with my money. So I'm not going to even go there. And it's not right for other people to do that to make you feel the way I felt today because I got sick and can no longer work or whatever your financial situation is because most of the time when you're in a financial situation it's kind of out of your own control most of the time <laughs> So, um, I, I don't know. I don't understand that, as, I don't understand that part of it. Um, if, I mean, YouTube is like a broad community it's like a even the doll community is a broad community there is so many content content makers of the doll community that if you didn't want to watch replica um, channels or channels that have replicas on it if you feel that way and you um, are upset about it which I'm not really sure I, I don't I'm going to leave that alone but anyway if you didn't want to watch people opening replicas or showing their replicas or um, dressing their replicas, why did you watch it? YouTube is such a broad um, place. It has broad um, channels that do doll content I, I, I just don't understand that that's just to me that's my aspect that's what I do if I go to a channel no matter what kind of channel it is um, doll related um, hilt related I've got to where I watch some YouTube videos on some of the things I've been diagnosed with lately and um, some of the COVID, long COVID, they do town halls and tell you about, you know, they bring a specialist on there and it's live. If I don't like what they're talking about, if I don't like what I'm seeing on that video, I turn it off and I don't go back. So, I don't understand what basically the big deal about it is. You know, if you, you know, why go and do and say the things that was said on that video making people feel some kind of way like I did today? 
instead of just making your own making your content the way you want to make it and watching the content that you want to watch that doesn't make any sense to me so I'm going to get off of that um, I was going to you know kind of let my viewers and subscribers and all of them know like I did in my video when I changed Rosie which is my Maddie replica um, that um, my channel supports all dolls and my channel is um, going to be um, supporting hashtag um, Dolly Sisters United and All Dolls Matter. Um, I was just going to leave it at that. I was not going to give an, uh, my opinion on anything until until I seen what I seen today. Um, now, as far as like that the doll show that everybody's talking about I missed a lot of that content because that's when I was taking my break but when I heard about it I couldn't believe it I mean uh, that don't make any sense to me either because um, if you um, if you're an artist and you're a sculptor and you spent your time and your m money on materials to make those things why would you exclude people that's coming with money to buy those things that makes no sense to me that's just hurting yourselves so I don't know I don't understand it I don't want to understand it all I know is um, my channel is a supporter of all dolls, all dolls matter, and, um, I don't like feeling like I felt today, like, um, basically I felt like that, that person that made that video and the person that left the comment was saying that because I collect or I don't I collect them because I have I collect and I have some replicas in my collection that I don't support sculptors or artists and that really upset me because I know how many I know how many authentic reborns I have purchased and I know how many of which you know a lot of people don't consider them reborns but I do I know how many Ashton Drakes that I have um, purchased I know how many Paradise Galleries I have purchased and um, all those just because they come from a company company and they are um, factory made doesn't mean they don't have sculptors or artists so that's all I want to say about it uh, my feelings was hurt I was upset um, because I knew that I was and still have been supporting sculptors and artists and that hurt my feelings it didn't really bother me the video bothered me a little bit but it didn't bother me that much until I seen the comment and who it was by because like I said I'm not going to mention the person but I watched their videos. Um, 
I watch their videos um, every day. Um, yeah, what, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. That, that really hurt my feelings. Um, cause I felt like they were putting the point out there between the video and that comment that, you know, if you own, if you own a replica, you don't support sculptors or artists and that hurt my feelings so um I'm just gonna leave it at that guys because this video is long enough but I did want to show you her and we're gonna reveal her name I'm gonna name her Emily so she's my little Emily. So I have a strawberry red headed girl named Emily. And I have my other one that's a strawberry um, blonde. And she is Emmy. And they're very close. They look very close to each other. So I wanted to kind of name them similar. But, um, doesn't she look awesome in the, doesn't she look very beautiful in this outfit? I thought it was going to be a little big when I took it out of the package. But I just love, um, Jessica Simmons' little outfits. They're just so beautiful. Um, but they're hard to find in smaller, um, sizes. Especially when you go to Macari or something like that. Um, but I got this off of Amazon. Um... But anyway, um, I'll let you guys go. Oh, we didn't give her her lovey, did we? Oh, we talked and talked. Or I talked and talked. And she didn't have nobody to cuddle with. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys um, stay um, subscribed to my channel. I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. I was just upset and I needed to let everybody know um, how I felt about that. So, um, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night and we shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys.